this, this prime number formula is actually the easy version of the prime number formula. There's more sophisticated versions of this. It's, they look the same, but they've added on extra terms, and it gives you a better result. So there are better versions of it. Uh, using one of the better versions, not this one, if you plot the error, the difference between your prediction and where the nth prime is, this is the graph you get. And so you can see that the error is sort of zigzagging around zero-ish. So it's sort of, you know, it's a bit off here. It's quite far away. But then it comes back again. It zigzags around. It's within this much. These numbers are talking about 10 to the power 7, 10 to the power 8, uh, which is 100 million. And proportionally speaking, the error is about 20,000. You're tw at, at most, I'm 20,000 off. 20,000 as a proportion of 100 million is something like 0.001%, which is close. Yeah, I'll take it. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't I want my bank account to be out by 20,000. <laughs> if I had billions, I wouldn't mind. Exactly. So there's a difference between absolute error and proportional error. Prime number theorem, one of the most important theorems in mathematics. I learned the prime number theorem as an undergraduate when I did my maths degree. It was in my fourth year. It was a really good course as well. I really enjoyed it. And the end result of the course was proving the final prime number statement. Uh, but it was the journey to get there. The journey was as interesting as the end result. And I, I really enjoyed studying uh, the prime number theorem.